Uh, this is uh, this is Sportsmobile. Been in business for 55 years. Doing Class B RVs is our specialty. This is the Sprinter 2016 four-wheel drive. They just introduced that this to the United States in 2015. We've put this conversion on the shortest, lowest platform that they work on. This is our RV50, our 150 floor plan. We have an awning on the outside. Um, those are optional. A small flip-down shelf here with an induction cooktop. A lot of our customers aren't putting built-in cooktops since the vehicle is so small, so we're going all electric. No propane, diesel, big batteries, solar panels. We've got an exterior outlet right here, 110. We've got porch light on the side here. We come to the back of the vehicle. We've got an exterior shower hookup with hot and cold water. Come to the back here, we got a little storage in the doors, blackout curtains, storage under the sofa. The back cushion extends the front bed, so you have a 75 by 54 inch wide bed. We got a closet storage here. We've got shades on windows, um, LED lighting throughout the vehicle, uh, diesel systems, like I said before, electrical systems, refrigerators. Uh, come around the driver's side. This is where all the business happens, where all the hookups are. You got the city water hookup, you've got your 30 amp electrical inlet. You've got a cable hookup. We put a small little LED light out there so at night you can see your hookups. We've, um, we've line-exed the bottom of the vehicle's rocker panels just for utilitarian. We have a lot of customers have chips on there. This takes care of all of that. We put on some aftermarket BF Goodridge uh, and some uh, Moto GT tires. Got some small vents up on the front windows just to give a little bit extra ventilation up on the front. We've got a small snorkel here. It's actually functional. We've got the high intensity discharge lighting. We blacked out the hood. We've put a uh, LED light strip on the step. We've got a large 54 inch curved LED light strip up on the top. Up front in the cab, swivel seats are just about standard on all of these. It helps increase the size of the interior. It's just about a must for most, uh, let's say, small Class B customers. We've got a small three cubic foot refrigerator underneath the galley, a drawer, a microwave. Inside the cabinet of the microwave is a porta potty. We just push and twist and open, and we've got a porta potty cabinet there. We've got sink on the countertop. We've got space for a cooktop if somebody wanted to add one in the future. But again, like I said earlier, most people are going portable and all electric. We've got storage here. This cabinet is removable. Customers want to get it out of the way for more storage. If they need storage on the weekend, they can move this out of the way. Again, that, that's a sofa for three people. It's got three seat belts. Folds out into, again, a uh, 75 by 54 inch bed. On the driver's side, you've got a storage cabinet that can also be a sliding pantry that slides out. It's up to the customer. Just twist that handle to open that. Mm. There you go. Probably should have cleaned that out a little bit for when you have a company. <laughs> and again, there's shelving right here. Storage, this is shelving in here. And then the back is for hanging clothes. So you got the clothes hanging, shelves, storage. You're taking a, the, that's the back of the penthouse bed that's pushed up against the back for storage in conjunction with the bed hanging from the ceiling. That lowers down and then you have over a six and a half foot by 40 inch wide bed. We've got curtains on all the windows. We can insulate the canvas for extreme cold weather if needed. This one's not insulation. There's five windows that open. They have screens. Three of the screens open so if you need to take pictures out you've got a clear view. This top is power. We have manual and power. The power top's just a button. You hit the button, about a minute later the top goes up and down. A power top will be able to hold up to 200 pounds of gear on your roof. So you can leave the gear up there, raise and lower the top. It's our most popular option for the tops, but manual is available also. The cab itself is pretty much all stock uh, Sprinter. It's got a 3 liter V6 diesel. Um, again, four wheel drive from the factory. It's a shiftable four wheel drive with high and low range. Um, it's got the ability for lane assist, blind spot avoidance, it's got a backup camera, it's got navigation available on it. 
It's got steering wheel controls with Bluetooth capability. It's got just about all the options customers would want up on the cockpit. And when we order these vehicles, we order them with all the creature comforts, and then the customers tell us what to do on the rear of the vehicle. So if someone was looking to purchase this vehicle, where would they look and how much would it set them back for this one right here? Is this one with all the bells and whistles or is this a, a standard unit? This one here, I'd say, is a little bit above a standard unit with some of the four-wheel drive accessories on the outside of the vehicle. This vehicle is going to be a little bit over $100,000. You can get into a four-wheel drive for a little bit under $100,000 to as high as a customer wants to go. And then the two-wheel drives usually go from $75,000 and up. And again, we let our customers pick the options, so there's a wide range of cost on this. How you'd find us is sportsmobile.com on the website, three locations. We've got the Austin, Texas location is where we're from at the show. We've got a Huntington, Indiana, and then we've got a uh, Fresno, California location. Um, again, the website is very informative. That's where we like customers to go to, to start seeing how to design pricing and how to get a hold of us for uh, uh, more information.